Hey Capricorn, it's Tina from Trust and Truth Tarot. Hope you guys are all doing great. So we're here today to do your February 2019 general and or love forecast. I'm so sorry this is late guys. I've been a busy lady. All right, so let's get on with it. Capricorn, February 2019 general and or love. What can Capricorn expect? What is going on with Capricorn? So Capricorn, oh and this is for sun, moon and rising. If you are new to my channel and you don't know how I do my readings, it is a nine card spread. I do three cards for your recent past, three for your present, and three for your near future. I also clarify and do a bottom of the deck overview card and some oracle cards for you this month. So let's see what's crack a lacking for my Cap Capricorns. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm a Capricorn moon, so I'm very interested to see what this is going to say as well. Capricorn, Capricorn. Judgment. Wow, guys. Recent past. That's some good karma coming your way. Woohoo. Finally, right? Page of Wands. Ooh, you're getting some messages in. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Ooh, Magician Reverse. Okay. Hold on. Let me get these all out before I start yakking my jaws over here. All right. Let's see. Strength Reverse in the present. Three of Swords Reverse in the present. Double reverse in the present. That's you, Cappies. All right. Near future, Eight of Wands reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Cool. All right. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Wands reverse. Letting your guard down, finally. Look at this guy when he's in the upright. Look at his face. He's like, oh my gosh, what next? You know, you're going to be able to breathe a little bit this month, Capricorn. Now, I can see there's been some stuff going on. Now, first of all, Recently, things look to have been going pretty well for you guys, all right? Um, judgment here, page of wands. Again, you've got somebody being uh, that came into your life, uh, maybe a younger person, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be though. Um, getting passionate messages or news that you wanted to hear, you've been waiting to hear this news, all right? We have the magician reverse there though, and um, I don't like that energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Aries, Gemini. Um, they're in the reverse, all right? So. I kind of feel like this person's a bit manipulative, Capricorn, okay? Um, smoke and mirrors is what I get with the Magician Reverse. Like, it's all fake, all right? M the Magician Upright has the ability to manifest anything he wants. In the reverse, it's more like he just pretends that he does, okay? Pretends that he has things that he doesn't. Now, this could also be that you've been trying really hard to manifest something new. We'll clarify. It could be a relationship. It could be a job. It could be money. It could be anything. Um, and that you're having trouble getting it off the ground, okay? There's a block or something like that. We'll clarify it. All right, present energy Capricorn. Strength reverse, three of swords reverse, double reverse. Some of you guys just need to break free from something toxic. I'm not gonna lie, okay? <laughs> um, somebody could either be sapping all of your strength from you. You could be dealing with a Leo, another Capricorn as well. Um, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I've got. But um, you thought somebody had your back, Capricorn, and they really kind of didn't, you know what I mean? And it kind of broke your heart, but you're kind of getting over it you know, and breaking free from that toxic situation, you know, and like I said, it could be a relationship, it could be a third party situation, it could have been, you know, love triangle, something going on there, it doesn't have to be though, um, but I feel like you realize that this person never really did have your back or this situation, this job, whatever it was, and so now you're kind of forced to break ties from the situation and move forward, okay? Eight of Wands reversed, waiting on communication, okay? You're waiting to hear back from something or someone. Queen of Pentacles, that could be you, Capricorn. You could be dealing with another Earth sign, but that's good. This shows stability and uh, good um, finances coming in towards the end of the month. So some of you guys could be receiving some finances in. Finances could be getting a little bit better if they've been a little rocky for you. Um, some of you guys are dealing with your mom as well. Um, she might be going through some of these things um, and you might be like walking her through this. She might be going through a breakup or some stress at work or with a job, something like that, okay? Um, doesn't have to be though. And then we have the Ace of Swords, victory, okay? A new beginning, a fresh start. Also clarity and truth and communication. So if you were dealing with somebody who was being dishonest with you previously, Capricorn, you're getting the truth, all right? Um, some of you guys may also be getting engaged. I know that's a random thing to say based on what we just saw here, but um, I look at the Ace of Swords like that because there is a ring, a gold ring on the top of that sword, so it's a new beginning, a fresh start. It could be an engagement, or engagement as in ascension, you know, something that's ascending to a new level. Let's see what else is going on for Capricorn. Why is judgment here for Capricorn, please? Judgment, judgment. Okay, yeah, Six of Swords, so that's really good. Sailing off into calmer waters, you know, getting out of rocky seas, um, getting away from something that was holding you back or something that was toxic, things improving for you, okay? Your, your good karma is paying off here. Page of Wands, 
the lover's reverse. Again, we have Gemini, but um, you know, it could be a decision that was made with regard to love, really anything major in your life. It's the major arcana of choices. So you guys have really made a decision, and I think it was kind of to pick up the pieces and move on, not you know, dwell in the past and in, in things that were harmful to you or hurtful to you. Magician reversed for Capricorn. Yeah, see, you guys definitely have a, a snake in the grass. Um, Seven of Swords, that is somebody getting caught um, lying, stealing, something like that, taking something that doesn't belong to them, being deceptive or just, you know, something along those lines. So, yeah, Cap, um, I, think, I think for some of you guys, you really found out somebody was playing tricks on you. They weren't who they said they were or they wanted something from you. And you might have caught them red-handed, red-handed in that. Okay. And um, probably cut them off, you know, strength. And maybe you really had their back. You were really there for them. It could be a Leo. I don't know if I said that already, but um, yeah, cut them off. They may have tried to hold on to you or you them, and this could be a job. It could have been money. It could have been anything, and it was taken from you because it was not serving you. It was not serving your highest purpose. That's why, you know. They might have been trying to hold on to you, and the universe just was like, no, you know, there's a, there's a better purpose for this person. Three of Swords Reverse, Three of Pentacles. Good. So again, overcoming heartbreak, heartache, but working on things. You could be getting a new job if that's the case. Um, maybe you're focused on work as well, but we're getting out of this energy of being so devastated and so heartbroken into an energy of everything being a well-oiled machine. Okay, things going your way, um, things really starting to kind of even out and smooth out for you so that you can like, you know, move ahead positively. You do have to leave the devil behind though. You know that whatever that toxic situation was, Capricorn, it's got to go. Okay, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, you know, another Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could have been a job. Could have been somebody that presented as a knight in shining armor, and they were not. Also, um, that they, you know, that they wanted to bring stability to your life, and they really had no intentions of doing so, or they just were not acting on that. Um, also here, though, uh, the Knight of Pentacles, when I see him reverse like that, usually it means things are going to pick up fast for you. So if you're trying to hold on to something toxic, Capricorn, and you know it's toxic with the Four of Swords, or Four of Pentacles here, look what happens. Like, death comes in and takes that away. He's trying so hard. He's like, don't touch my coin. And, and death's like, no, mm -mm, we're ending that. We're going to kibosh it for you. And that's what it looks like is going on here. You know it's toxic. You're sitting in it every day. You're dwelling on it every day. Like, you're like, shit, this sucks, and you're not doing anything to make a move. So, Capricorn, Capricorn, the universe is going to come in and make that move for you, is what it looks like, okay? Eight of Wands reversed, okay, Six of Cups. So if you're waiting to hear from somebody from your past, um, you will. You're just going to have to be patient, okay? We have the Six of Cups here, card of soulmates, twin flames, things like that. So um, it might not be as fast as you want it to be, but I do see this person returning to your life or returning to you in some aspect, okay? Maybe you're meeting somebody new, it could be, or rekindling with someone from your younger years, all right? Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Wow, so you're getting double whammied with the fresh starts here. We got Ace of Swords and Ace of Wands, but this is a passionate new beginning. Okay, stability in a relationship could be a fire sign coming into your life, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I think it's really, for some of you, it's like really getting control of your finances. You know, you're really taking action here and doing something. That's been me, you guys. Oh my gosh. Like, not even joking. Something hit me. Like, I woke up one day and I was like, I'm going to be the... I started watching Dave Ramsey. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you know who he is. I'm serious. Like all that mattered to me was financial security and financial stability. I was like, all right, here we go. And like, I've been bent on this stuff ever since. So just making every single penny work in my favor. You know what I mean? So some of you guys, I see that with you too. It's the queen of pentacles, ace of wands. You're like, you got a fire lit under you. You're like, I'm going to get this money and I'm going to make it right and tight. You know, like really, really working on your finances. Um, could be for some of you guys a one night stand. Okay. So just saying, just putting it out there too. It is a pretty phallic card there. I should stop. My channel's already demonetized. I don't want to get kicked off of YouTube. But it is. This is what that is, okay? All right. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Why is that here for Capricorn? Okay. Five of Swords reversed. So you are getting truth and clarity, but that could definitely lead to some sort of conflict or argument, okay? With the Five of Swords, we do see some gray clouds in the background there. So um, you might be getting the truth, yeah, but it might not be what you want to hear or vice versa. Somebody else is getting the truth and it's not really what they want to hear, but you know, you might be getting some sort of truth and you're conflicted about it, like a new beginning offered to you and you're like, I don't know if I should do this or not. Like you're really kind of up in the air about it. That's when you contact me for a private reading, okay? <laughs> Just kidding. All right. I mean, but if you want to, that's fine too. All right. So, 
Let's talk about your love life's Capricorn. Capricorn love, please. February 2019, Capricorn expect. Getting to know each other. See, I told you, there's a new beginning coming here, coming in here, Capricorn. Um, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So again, you got air and fire here coming in for you with the Six of Cups. Definitely could be a love relationship here where you're kind of ascending in that relationship, you know. Um, maybe deciding to commit to each other. Maybe just deciding that, you know, um, you guys just like each other. You want to get to know each other better. So awesome. Um, you could be getting truth if you're already partnered up. You could be getting truth or clarity from your partner. Um, and again, that might cause some conflict, but it actually ends up strengthening your bond as well. All right. Let's see what we got here. Capricorn, Capricorn. These are the notes from the universe on loving connection cards by Mike Dooley. They're super great. Let's see for Capricorn. Okay, turn on your love light. Ooh, that sounds racy. What is this? <laughs> okay, sometimes the best way to remain sane is to love like crazy. Works for me, the universe. Yeah, Capricorn, check it. This is this is promising, right? So for you single caps, congratulations. A lot of you guys are gonna be partnered up this month. Let love in, guys. Well, you gotta let it in, all right? If that's what you want anyway. Um, otherwise, you know, if you keep blocking it out, it can't. It can't manifest for you. All right. Thank you so much, Capricorn, for watching. Um, if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. We would love to have you here. Um, Capricorns, I need to ask you two favors. One, my website is down. So if you want to email me um, at trustandtruthtarot at gmail.com, I can set up a personal reading with you that way. My website is not functioning right now. I don't think so anyway, I, I canceled it. So um, the, that's the favorite thing though. I'm looking for somebody to help me build my website. So if you know of anyone that might be interested in helping me build this out, somebody that's really good at that kind of stuff, because I am certainly not, um, I would be very grateful uh, for any referrals you can send to me. Um, and two, uh, we're so close to 50,000 guys, we're so close, like so close, like a couple couple away. So if you guys could please share this video if you're so inclined uh, with your friends, share them their signs, send them my way, ask them to subscribe, that would be super great. Please feel free to share on Facebook, Twitter, any sort of social media, I really appreciate that. All right guys, thank you so much. I wish you a wonderful month and I will talk to you soon, bye.